Welcome to another G segment bringing you gist of your face on the Big Brother Titans and starting off this G segment with your winner Kosi. Now Kosi's arrival has been the most talked about from how fans were disappointed with the outcome of the crowd saying it was too small compared to all the mouths that they were making. All of that and to be honest you fans should calm down now. The price of four is still high. Anyway she has also answered the burning question of her relationship between herself and Yemi. <laughs> Obviously, we're not in like a romantic relationship or any sort of yeah. friendship, but we're cool. No, you're not friends. No, uh, really? no, we're not friends. Oh. We're not friends, but we're cool. Um, it's a, like it's not. There's no bad. No, no, no. We we, we 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 iron that out. We iron that out. She said they're cool. Can you guys give it a rest now? Now I must commend her answering so well. Clearing the whole issue up, but that's not why I'm here. So recently, Kosi came out with a video saying she has a crush on Liquor Rose. I met um, Liquor Rose. Oh, God. Mm -mm. I don't think she knows that I have a crush on her. Like, I, like, I met her yesterday, right? And I was just like, oh. Now, fans have come out to show their displeasure, saying that she's a lesbian. And some of Kosi fans are waiting for a ship name, irrespective of what others are saying. It's all making sense now. She doesn't want to have anything to do with Yemi or Thabang, and she did not even come out to debunk any of the rumors about her relationship with the unmarried man, which leaves room for questioning. Is she truly a lesbian? But how come she did not acknowledge Likoro since she was in South Africa? Now she came to Nigeria, all of a sudden she has a crush on her. <laughs> now wow. Also, I must acknowledge in the past few days that Kosi came to Nigeria. She has bagged a couple of deals and until went straight into the business she came here for. And she was also seen at Black Boy's birthday party, which is what I felt wasn't given the party in general but anyways i'm here to address something real quick this is not me jumping into defense of kosi even though some of you guys will like that this was a tweet made by someone saying most of the girls like yvonne nana and jp snubbed kosi when she arrived at the party which apparently sources said it was wrong the fact of what happened according to sources said the other ladies arrived the party early and kosi arrived late which was due to her business she had in the day i mean of course she'd come in and look for a place to sit down for arriving late there's no space again which apparently was not close to any of the babes there them nana so how is that snobbing her some fans are just delusional about things to be honest why are they trying to pit these girls against each other i mean look at them all happy and snapping pictures together do you guys derive joy from them fighting mm? hmm hmm and rounding off this segment, did anyone notice how Blue Ava was not at the party? Coming from someone who is always everywhere all at once at the same time, you know? Hmm. Well, Miss Blue has boarded a plane back to her country. But there's something just off here, or maybe it's just me. Look at something. Blue has been in Nigeria for months. We've even dubbed her as a Nigerian citizen because Andy did not want to go back to the SA. It wasn't a problem, but bam, immediately Kosi stepped into Nigeria, she decides to leave. That's suspicious. Well, that's all I have for you on this G segment. Until next time, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.